Hello and welcome to the Premier League preview and prediction show. Thank you so much for tuning into this one. I really, really hope you enjoy. So many, many big games this weekend down at the bottom and at the top, including the Manchester Derby. Very, very exciting indeed. And if you do enjoy this video, please make sure you smash the like button, it really does help the video out and subscribe if you are new. But without further ado, let's get straight on to the fixtures. We start off right at the bottom between Cardiff and Brighton. This game could have huge implications down at the bottom. Cardiff will be without Harry Arter for this one, who has picked up five yellow cards already, which means he will be suspended for this game. Cardiff currently sit in 19th place on five points, having just won one game and drawn two. Brighton are in 12th place with four wins, two draws, including three wins in a row before losing against Everton, wins against Wolves, Newcastle and West Ham. I feel like this one will be tight, I really, really do, but I can't see past a very, very tight game. Um, it could go either way. It could be a Brighton win. It could be a draw. It could be a Cardiff win. I'm going to go for a Cardiff win. I'm going to go 1-0 to Cardiff, getting the win, and which would be uh, enough to take them out of the bottom three, potentially, uh, if results obviously go their way this weekend. Next, we have another team that is struggling down the bottom, and that is Huddersfield, and they will be taking on West Ham. So West Ham have improved in recent weeks to, to move away from the relegation zone. They won last week against Burnley. They got a draw against Leicester as well uh, in the last two games. Huddersfield, they finally got their first win of the season uh, on Monday night against Fulham, who are now bottom of the table, moving them up into 18th place. And a win here, similarly to Cardiff, would take them outside of the relegation zone. This one will be tight, and this one also could go either way. Uh, I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. I'm going to go for a draw. Huddersfield have had uh, a few draws. And I feel like they will try and build on their momentum that they got with that win. Uh, so I'm going to go for a one-all draw. Huddersfield and West Ham. Next we have Leicester and Burnley. And Leicester put um, what happened after the, the West Ham game with uh, the helicopter crash. Sort of behind them by beating Cardiff 1-0. Uh, an amazing, amazing show of solidarity there. And then went and uh, witnessed the funeral over in Thailand. They have been training and they are ready for the Burnley game. Burnley are not in very, very good form, having lost the last three Premier League games in a row. Defeats to West Ham, Chelsea and, of course, Manchester City. And they have shipped 13 goals in their last three games. Leicester, they have picked up two wins, one draw and two defeats in their last five games. Defeats coming against Arsenal and Everton. So teams you'd expect them probably to lose to. I'm going to go for a Leicester win. I'm going to go 2-0 to Leicester. I feel like they'll have plenty to beat Burnley and it will be a really, really great occasion. Um, the, you know, the, the fans will show how united they are. And it will, it will be a, a good occasion at, um, at, at the King Power Stadium. And hopefully they'll be able to see a win that could take them all the way up to 8th uh, with a victory there. Next, we have Newcastle versus Bournemouth. Two sides that have had differing starts to the season. Bournemouth currently find themselves in 6th place, having won 3, lost 1 and drew 1 of their last 5 games. Uh, last night, they uh, suffered a late, late defeat to Manchester United. Newcastle are currently in 17th place, having won their first game of the season on Saturday against Watford. This one, like I said, could go either way. Um, I'm going to go for a Bournemouth win. I'm going to go 2-1 to Bournemouth. Um, I just think that they'll have uh, enough to beat beat Newcastle. I think that 1-0 against Watford was just a you know, just a surprise. And I don't think they'll continue their form. I think Bournemouth will win that one. All of these games are um, 3 o'clock. And then the final 3 o'clock game is Southampton versus Watford. Another huge, huge game at the St. Mary's Stadium. So... Watford are in 8th place, 2 wins and 3 defeats in the last 5 games. The wheels have started to come off a little bit, um, but they still had a, have had an amazing start to the season and look like they'll be fine when it comes to surviving. Southampton, 7 points picked up so far this season, just 1 win all season. Crystal Palace, 2-0 away at, Saint, uh, at Selhurst Park. They are yet to win 
at St. Mary's. And this is a trouble that they had last season as well, struggling to pick points up at home. They have had two draws in the last five games against Newcastle and against Bournemouth and three defeats. I'm expecting a tight, tight game. I'm going to go nil-nil as well. I think Southampton won't lose, but I don't think they've got enough to score and win the game. So I'm going to go nil-nil. Finally, the half-past five kickoff is between Crystal Palace and Tottenham Hotspur. So Tottenham got back to winning ways um, on Saturday evening, beating Wolves 3-2. Uh, before that, they did lose uh, in the midweek against Manchester City, losing 1-0 on the Monday Night Football. Before that, three wins in a row. So four wins out of five in the last uh, five games. But they have been struggling in Europe. They just managed to squeak past PSV, drawing uh, over in the Netherlands as well. Palace, they are in a terrible run of form. Uh, only Fulham have worse form than Crystal Palace. Just one point picked up in the last five games. But a very, very good point. A two-all draw with Arsenal. Um, I expect Tottenham to go there and win. I'm going to go 3-1 to Tottenham. I think they'll have far, far too much for Palace. Having said that, they did pick up a good point against Arsenal. So maybe they could surprise uh, everyone again with a point against Spurs. We have four... Great games on Sunday, the first of which is Liverpool versus Fulham. Liverpool, their form has been iffy as of as of late. Um, they've only won three games of their last nine in all competitions, two wins and three draws in their last five games. Which has seen them now fall behind Manchester City and are just behind Chelsea on goal difference. Three draws against Liverpool, uh, Arsenal, sorry, Manchester City and Chelsea, and then wins against Huddersfield and Cardiff. Those three points are very, very good. Uh, the wins against teams you'd expect them to beat, and Fulham is a team you'd expect to beat. Uh, they've lost their last five games in a row. Uh, one point, uh, one, one win, two, two draws, five points altogether. It's been a terrible, terrible start. I think this is going to be a cricket score. I'm going to go 4-0 to Liverpool. It could be anything. They are so, so lacking of confidence to Fulham, uh, and they could get absolutely hammered once again. So I'm going to go... 4-0 to Liverpool. And now we have a game at quarter past two. Chelsea versus Everton. Two sides looking for the three points here. Everton's form have, has picked up of late. Four wins out of their last five games. Losing one of those to Manchester United. Um, in, in circumstances that they, they, they played really well. They were just very unlucky. Um, as, as in the move up to eighth. Chelsea, they are still unbeaten. Alongside Liverpool and Manchester City in the Premier League. Three wins and two draws in their last five games. I think they'll have enough to beat Everton. I'm going to go 2-1. You should see Chelsea at the 30-point mark already after 12 games, which would be absolutely phenomenal. Next, we have Arsenal versus Wolves. This one is taking place at half past four, but it's not on British television. Obviously, it'll be on uh, in abroad in, in, in other countries, but it's not uh, being broadcast over here in the UK. Wolves, they have lost their last three games in a row to Watford, Brighton and Tottenham. However, there was lots of positives coming out of that Brighton game. Some really, really good performances and very, very unlucky to lose. Uh, after a great start, they have slipped down to 11th place. Arsenal are currently in fifth, looking to, to try and get a top four finish this season. It's going to be tough uh, with so many good, good sides. But uh, three wins, two draws in their last five games. Uh, they went on that great winning run in all competitions, but that has come to a halt against Crystal Palace and then a draw against Liverpool. And they also uh, drew against Sporting Lisbon. So that's so they are starting to draw a few games, but still a very, very good start to the season. I can't see anything than an Arsenal win. I'm going to go 2-0 to Arsenal. Finally, we have the main event, the Manchester City derby. Uh, two sides that are, will be looking to get the three points. Uh, and it's a massive, massive game. Manchester City are currently top of the league. Nine wins, two draws, zero defeats. 33 goals scored, the most uh, scored this season in the Premier League. Four goals conceded, the least amount of goals conceded in the Premier League so far this season. Four wins and one draw in their last five games. That draw coming against Liverpool at Anfield where, they, where Riyad Mahrez missed a very, very late penalty. Manchester United, their form has totally rocketed uh, since that defeat to, I think it was West Ham. Yeah, West Ham. Three wins, one draw and one defeat in their, in their last five games. So they move up to seventh and they'll be looking to try and get into the top four as soon as possible. Both have good had good wins uh, over 
midweek in the Champions League. City smashed six past Shakhtar Donetsk. Goals from uh, Silva, Mares, Sterling and a hat-trick from Gabriel Jesus. Manchester United completed an unbelievable comeback to beat Juventus 2-1 away, which is an absolutely amazing result and they'll be full of confidence because of that result. Last season, they beat uh, Manchester City at home 3-2, coming from 2-0 down to win 3-2, with Pulper getting two and Smalling uh, scoring the winning goal. Um, but in the reverse fixture, Manchester City won 2-1, with Silva and Otamendi getting the goals. This could go any way, but form-wise, you expect City to win. I don't know. I'm, I'm really quite nervous for this one. I'm going to go one all. I'm going to go for a draw. Manchester United haven't lost there since uh, 2014, I think. So I'm going to go for a draw, but hopefully City can get the win. They should get the win. They are so much better than Manchester United. Um, but the thing is, if they concede that amount of chances they did against Juventus and have been conceding against other teams to, to Manchester City, they could be absolutely out of it at half-time. They were very, very lucky to still be in the game at half-time last time when Sterling missed a very, very close range and they went on to win the game 3-2. I think it'll be tight, but I'm going to go with a one or draw. So that is my prediction. Then we have the international break. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you are new, please hit subscribe. Um, like the video if you enjoyed it. I will be covering some of the international break as well. There should be a... There should be a... Um, review coming out on Sunday as well. I, I've just realised that I've not put my mic over here again. But I'm so, so, so sorry. Thanks so much for watching anyway. My name is Mike and I... We'll see you soon.